Jeff Cobb is a cool, really big dude who's really strong and can do flips. I'm really jealous. He also has two really cool action figures. Let's talk to him about those action figures right now. <laughs> hey, is this, what do they call this, hang loose? Is this yeah. hang loose? Shaka. Shaka? Yeah, not, not that other Shaka, but <laughs> this is a Shaka. Shocker. It's like Shocker. Shocker was good. I watched him in uh, TNA and then in uh, in Mexico. He's a good wrestler. I seen one clip of him. That was it. So, <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of you. You live in my house. It's kind of weird. I have two plastic versions of you. Um, and and this is this is actually how I heard of you first. As weird as it sounds, like before you got to Ring of Honor, I saw, hey, this guy's an action figure. He must be important. So, <laughs> boy, you wrong, Ian. Uh, <laughs> now, tell me, tell me a little bit about uh, this figures toy company, Jeff Cobb figure. How did this come about? Were you excited that you're gonna have an action figure? Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, I got um, messaged online or I email saying, uh, "Hey, we want to make you into an action figure." Um, I said, "Heck yeah!" and I saw some of the guys that came out. Like uh, they did like a, a Ring of Honor line first. I think it was like a, like the the figure right behind you. The the Ring oh Big Mike. Yeah, the, the one with Big Mike and the Ring of Honor uh, ring. And I, I, ring. I I'm I'm familiar with that line. And when they asked me, I said, uh, "Let's do it." Yeah, like, heck yeah, let's do it. Awesome. I, who was the first person you told that you're gonna have a figure? Uh, the misses. Misses. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And Did you ring up? Mom. Aw. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Do you, do you collect do you collect when you were a kid? Do you collect now? Uh when I was a kid, I tried to buy as much as I could. Um I had I started off with those huge uh LJN figures and then um I switched over to the I think it was like a four and a half inch or five inch uh the one the snake where you can the arm goes back and punches and <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that Hasbro? Was Hasbro, it. yeah. Yeah, and then I also collected like the, uh, well, I collected wrestling and then like Ninja Turtles and a bunch of other random figures, but wrestling was like my main one. This is this is a weird question. I've only been. <laughs> um, was it easy to find stuff like that on on the islands, or did it come and go? Or um, certain LJN figures, they they were like uh, like I had. I remember I had the King Kong Bundy and the Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Um, the next round that came out, I think it was like the Ultimate Warrior and whatnot. Uh, they didn't have them in the stores, but you can order them online through the magazines. That's that's what I did. And my mom tried to order me the Ultimate Warrior, Hogan, and Beefcake, and I got Haku, the Big Boss Man, <laughs> Rick Rude, and the Warlord. Now, those are pretty valuable now, and that guy kept them in good shape. I didn't, I don't know, because they didn't, they didn't match with the Hasbro's. So right. I couldn't really play with them. So <laughs> they're just sitting in a box somewhere. Yeah, no, it, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. And do you do you have anything now? Like I know, I know on the road, um, you bring your PlayStation. You're the one who actually gave me this. You yeah. gave me the Jeff Cobb figure, but oh, I got to get you. So there's a variant one of that. Um, really? I have to get you that one. Remind me. Um, okay. Whenever, whenever we're free to travel and do Ring of Honor shows again, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring one specifically for you. So it's, a, it's wow. a, variant, a variant one. So that many people this have is... it. Uh, it's all the way upstairs. So I can't show you, but I'll send That's... you a picture. Well, after we're done recording, I'll send you a picture of it. But yeah, I'll get you one of those. So uh, I do collect uh, figures of guys I've wrestled, um, and then I have them sign the sign the box. Uh, so I I showed you right prior we right before we started recording, uh, like my wall, uh, my wall of fame, if you will. And uh, usually guys that I've worked that have figures, then I'll try to get the best figure that they have out on the market, um, as long as it's not like $400 or more. <laughs> and then I'll have them sign in and just goes on my wall. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, I've collected since I was a kid too. And it's weird now because, like, like I have your figure, and like, <laughs> it's it's kind of weird, like knowing the person behind it. it as weird as it sounds. <laughs> have you have you felt that at all? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, just 
getting the chance to wrestle guys with figures and then just meeting them and it's like holy like i have your figure it's so weird yeah. <laughs> so, um yeah it's just it's a weird experience but it's super cool at the same time to just be like hey i wrestled that guy in on my wall that's a six inch figure so <laughs> not Oh, that's that's got to be a cool experience. Um, what was cooler, wrestling in Madison Square Garden the first time, the second time, or getting one of these bad boys? <laughs> oh, um, honestly, probably wrestling in Madison Square Square Garden the second time because yeah. I've always wanted to be a pro wrestler. Um, and then the second, I guess, ranking, if you will would be the figures because I've always I've never in my wildest dreams would have thought I would get an action figure of myself. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It almost like legitimizes like yeah, I don't know. Like for me, I'm getting a micro brawler guy and it's it's cool to me because it's kinda like, oh, like this is something my son can hold or this is something yeah. my this is something you can have for generations down the line. Like your grandkids would be like, oh man, grandpa had a grandpa did this for Ring of Honor. <laughs> Now you, and I have them as an action figure kind of thing, you know. So like stuff like that's cool. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Um, before I let you go, what are you looking forward to most in 2020? We've seen you everywhere. This is not a Ring of Honor video. I'm not telling you to spill any beans, but it's been pretty cool. You've been you've been all over the place. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm I've been weighing my options for the first uh, three months right before uh, the quarantines happened. Uh, <laughs> So hopefully it hasn't lost any steam, but um, I've pretty much made up my mind of what I want to do and where I want to go and where I want to be at. Um, um, unfortunately, this is this is a figure phone call. Yeah. We'll talk about the figures, but then um, <laughs> you, if you want to, when we when we're allowed to do shows and travel and whatnot, I mean, if you want to have a little uh, exclusive thing on your thing, I'm I'm totally down to do that and I'll let you know where, I'm, <laughs> where I'm going. If I'm staying, when I'm staying, where I'm staying, or what whatnot. But oh, <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Didn't mean to put you on the spot, but I didn't get to ask you when we went to uh, Pepper Lunch in Vegas. So I, know, I mean, we had great lunches. I think we we're just a uh, we're in a meat induced coma. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for thanks for your time tonight, Jeff, and uh, really enjoy it. And I'm gonna pop this bad boy out of the box and uh, put him on the shelf, so you can hang out with. With uh, Taven and Dalton and Delirious and uh, Burger. I, 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 Delirious over there. Yeah, I mean, let me hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That well, sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah.